previously on Heartland. This isn't just about us anymore. I mean, we can't risk hurting the girls, making frivolous choices, right? But what about us getting back together? Seems frivolous. The shoes seem to be agreeing with him. That's an understatement. Feels like my horse again. New pair of shoes can make all the difference in the world sometimes. Oh, yeah. Evan Garland. Pleased to meet you. Wait a second, you're not his... Yes, his younger, more handsome brother. <laughs> You need someone to come and get you, Caleb? Logan, I just got off the phone with your caseworker. Your father didn't make parole. Logan, wait. We could use another horse around here with some cow sense. Oh, well, blue looks pretty green to me. <laughs> well, he's halter broke and he takes a saddle. Sort of. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You got a good deal? Stumpy practically gave him away. I have a bunch of client horses I have to work with today, but if you need a hand, I can spare some time on the weekend. Oh, I think I can handle him on my own. OK, but from what I've seen so far, he looks pretty stubborn. Well, that's something that Blue and I have in common. If you need a hand, you know where I'm at. Thanks, but I got this. Blue doesn't know it yet, but we're going to be good friends. Shoot, I got charged for that campsite I booked for you and your dad. We rescheduled that trip weeks ago. I know, but I forgot to cancel. I'll call them and see if I can reschedule. When did your dad say he was free to go? We decided to do a ski trip this winter instead. That's too bad. You love camping. It's no big deal. I'm just going another time. No. There is no way I'm letting you miss out on this experience. Besides, you deserve a fun trip before school starts. But I was just in Vancouver visiting dad. Yeah, that doesn't count. You know what? This site is already booked and paid for, so I'm going to take you camping instead. You? Hmm? I thought you didn't even like camping. Mm, true, but that's only because I went with your grandfather and he was always so disorganized. Just leave it to me. I am going to make this the mother-daughter camp trip you will never forget. Get up, get up there. Told you Blue and I were gonna be friends. Perfect. Starving. Help yourself. Thanks. What's with all the gear? 
I'm taking Katie camping. Like by choice? Yeah, of course. You hate camping. Yeah, true, but Katie loves it and I wanna spend some quality time with her. Well, that'll be nice. I remember I used to get so jealous when you and dad would go camping without me. Yeah, and I'd get jealous you got to stay home with mom. <laughs> so what's the plan? Like hiking, fishing? Yeah, maybe, definitely hiking. I was thinking since Katie and I will be alone, it would be a good chance to float the idea of her dad and I getting back together. Oh, well, that's big. I am so nervous about it. Just please tell me I'm doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing, Lou. Hey. Hi, Hi, girls. I'm gonna head back out. Okay. Is that the tent? Yeah. Where do you want it? Just uh, throw it on the pile. Still can't believe you're going camping. Never seemed to enjoy it when you were a kid. It's not true. I always liked spending time with you, even if your approach to camping was a little cavalier. Cavalier. Well, Dad, don't get me wrong. I had fun. But I remember this one time we spent the whole weekend eating nothing but hot dogs and baked beans. I learned the hard way that preparation is key. Mm. Are you sure we need all this stuff? Dad and I usually travel pretty light. Haven't you heard? Preparation is key. Let's load all this. I don't know what technique Stumpy was using with Blue, but he obviously didn't get very far. Well, that's not Blue's fault. Stumpy couldn't teach a horse how to eat grass. Why this horse, Grandpa? I like him. No, oh, it might seem like he has a mean streak, but he's not mean. He's just too smart for his own good. Logan, what brings you by? Hi, uh, Mr. Bartlett. Hey, Amy. Hey. I, uh, I just had some free time, so figured I'd come here and see if Amy needs help with anything. Well, that's perfect. I'm just about to start working with a client horse who uh, is a little nervous around traffic. Cool. Come on, I'll introduce you to Rose. So we just hang around the road and that'll cure her fear of traffic? Sort of. This has to be done in stages. This isn't a very busy road, so it will get her used to cars without them imposing a threat. And then as she gets more comfortable, we'll move to something a little busier. How do you know all this stuff? Do you go to school for it? Horse Whispering 101? <laughs> well, I, uh, I learned a lot from my mom. And the rest is, well, it's kind of just intuition. You know, like going with your gut. Either have it or you don't, right? Yeah. Exactly. Don't know if I have what it takes. You know, this isn't something that you learn overnight. And I've seen you with horses. You definitely have what it takes. But it's not enough for me to believe in it. You have to believe in it too. Hey, Scott. Hey, Amy. Uh, this is Logan. He's giving me a hand today. Good to meet you, Logan. Nice to meet you. Uh, do you mind putting Rose away for me? Sure. Thanks. Go. So, how's Major doing? Well, you were right. He has ulcers. I started him on some meds. Mm, should clear up in a few days. Thank you. Um, if you have a few minutes, can you look at Spartan for me? Sure. Something wrong? No, it's actually the opposite. He's got a new spring in his step. I don't. I got him reshot a few weeks ago. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, I've been taking him out riding almost every day. And if I let him, he'd be flying along the trails. So why don't you? It's arthritis. You got that under control. I know, it's just, he's not a young horse, and I don't want to injure him. Yeah, it's a balance with older horses. You don't want to push them, but you also don't want to let them get too bored. Yeah. Well, I'm just still trying to figure out where that line is, I guess. Why don't we go for a ride together, and afterwards I'll run some tests, see where he's at. Yeah, okay, that sounds great. He's keeping up with uh, Shadow, no problem. Yeah, he wants to keep going. <laughs> well, so far, Spartan looks like he's in pretty good shape. I think if he wants to keep going, you should let him. It's your call. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Mom, I think we're missing one of the temples. What? Are you serious? 
Yeah. So what do we do now? It's OK. It's, it's no problem. We'll just, um, we'll replace the tent pole with the, with the branch. We just need to figure out a way to attach to the frame. Duct tape? That's a great idea. OK, I'll find a branch. You get the duct tape. Sure. Uh, where'd you put it? I didn't bring any. Did you? You were the one who's going on about being prepared. No problem. So we're down a tent pole. It's not the end of the world, right? We'll figure it out. So Scott did a full checkup and lameness test on Spartan today. Oh, yeah? How's he looking, Scott? Oh, great. He's in better shape than a lot of horses half his age. Oh, good. Sounds like old Spartan's getting a new lease on life. <laughs> this is all over a pair of shoes. It must be magical shoes. Dad, they're not magical. It's just this is about conditioning and maintenance. And the more I do with Spartan without him being sore, the stronger he gets. You know, Amy, there's an endurance race this weekend over at the Williamsdale Ranch. You should think about entering. <laughs> Are you serious? That's a 50-mile race, mostly just for fun. Spartan's a geriatric horse. He shouldn't be entering a race. My client, she just won a big endurance race down in the States. Her horse is 27 years old. Gee, there you go, Tim. Just because you're getting old doesn't mean you're all washed up. Mm -hmm. OK, you two. Come on, sit down for dinner. So. How is Spartan going to win this race? He can barely gallop anymore. Well, the point wouldn't be to win, just to challenge Spartan. I'm still worried about his arthritis. I'm working as one of the vets. We check the horses every 20 miles or so. I wouldn't let Spartan or any of the other horses continue if they weren't completely sound. But it's totally up to you, Amy. No pressure. Why don't you enter Shadow? He's a lot faster. Uh, the endurance race is not about being fast. It's about playing the long game. Hey, thanks for your help today. I really appreciate it. <sighs> yeah, no problem. Had a really good time. Night. Night. Hey, Amy. You know, you should really enter that race. I bet you and Spartan would kick some serious butt. Well, thank you. I'm not so sure about that. You remember what you told me about working with horses? You know, being confident, not doubting yourself. Maybe you should take your own advice. The tent is a little sad looking, but how about this dinner? Pretty mm. great, huh? It's delicious. I've never had food like this on a camping trip before. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. We should probably hurry up and finish eating before it gets too dark. We still need to hang food up in the bear bag. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. We'll just throw everything in the SUV when we're done. But Dad and I always hang food up in a bear bag. Trust me, there is no way that a bear is getting into the car. Just enjoy your meal. No need to rush. Mm. Hey. <laughs> We've been through a lot together, haven't we? <laughs> what do you say? Are you up for one more challenge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, you rest up, all right? We've got a race to get ready for. All right, so your job is to meet me at each checkpoint and make sure that Spartan has plenty of water and that he's cooled down. All right, so I'm like your, uh, your pit crew. Yeah, exactly. But how am I supposed to get to every checkpoint? I can't drive. Well, that's why I invited my dad. Oh, I'm here. Still think this race is a crazy idea. Yes, I know you do, but I appreciate it. I'm gonna go get registered. Are you gonna get that? Uh, no. Thank you. You're welcome. Amy. Evan. Hey, what a nice surprise. Yeah. So are you here cheering somebody on? Because I hope it's me. Um, I'm actually competing. Oh. oh. I didn't know you were an endurance racer. Well, I'm not, really. This is my first race. Oh, OK. Well, you picked a good one to start with. It's only 50 miles. Should be a piece of cake. I mean, I doubt my horse is even going to break a sweat. I did tell you about my new horse, right? Fire season? Yeah, I think you mentioned it at the pub. Well, look, if you need any tips, I've got a lot of experience doing these races, so 
Yeah, you might have mentioned that too, but I think I'm good. Okay, well, change your mind. Let me know. And that kid is such a blowhard. <laughs> Caleb, what are you doing here? Well, I dabble in endurance races. You dabble? Yeah, I thought, why not enter one for old time's sake? Mm-hmm. Sounds like a bit of a coincidence to me. Okay, maybe Tim put the bug in my ear. <laughs> Hope you don't mind a little friendly competition. No, I don't mind at all. And the best part is we can both kick Evan's butt. <sighs> Look, I just hope I finish the race. I'm not here to beat Evan. Well, I am. The way he gloated after that lumberjack competition, can't wait to wipe that smug grin off his face. <laughs> I guess bear bags aren't only for bears. Oh, got into the bread. Oh, all of our vegetables and our herbs are ruined. All of my meals, what are we gonna do? Well, the granolas are still good. And we still have these. Oh, great, hot dogs, it's perfect. Mostly forested trails in this part, just before the first vet check. So you can make up some ground there. That's assuming Spartan even passes the first vet check. Wow, you really know how to give a good pep talk. <laughs> These races aren't easy. Oh. Are we keeping you from something important? No, sorry. OK, let's go over the second leg. be a hot spring around here somewhere. We must have taken a wrong turn. Are you sure that's the right map? I've been here a couple times with Dad, and we've never been to a hot spring. Oh, no, it's definitely the right map. It's got to be around here somewhere. If it is, I'm sure we'll find it. But don't stress. Just, just enjoy the hike. You're right. You're totally right. I mean, that, the hot spring would be fun, but we're going to have fun anyway, right? Right. Uh, so, listen, um, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. What is it? It's, um, I'm not sure how to put this. 
We already had the birds and the bees talk, remember? Oh, no. I know, it's not about that. It's not that at all. Um, you know what, never mind. We can talk about it when we find the hot spring. Yeah. Let's try this. Maybe this is the turn off we wanted. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh Mom, God. are you okay? Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm okay. I just tweaked my ankle. Okay, let me help you. Ow! Oh, no. Ow. No, no. Can't do that. Ah, uh, just need to. I just need to sit here for a minute, I think. Okay. Whew. How's my favorite cowboy doing? Oh, real good. I think Blue and I were starting to make some progress. Oh, good. But Amy said that you were going to be working with Blue all day, alone, and that sometimes he can be difficult, maybe a little bit dangerous. No. Why can't you wait until Amy's here to give you a hand? As much as I respect Amy's techniques, I want to put the first ride on him. This one's for me. What's taking so long? That guy Evans fast. It's gonna be hard to beat. Yeah, well, he got here first, but the clock doesn't stop until his horse's pulse goes down. He seems riled up. Yeah, he is. That horse will probably burn out before the end of the race. You seem to know a thing or two about horses. Yeah, well, I've been ranching and rodeoing for a long time. You know, uh, Amy said she learned everything about horses from her mom. She's never really mentioned you. <laughs> well, Amy's mom, Marion, she, uh, she saw horses on a different level than I did. So Amy learned from the best. There she is. It took over 15 minutes. He's not that far ahead of you now. Dad, I honestly don't care. Who we'll care a little? You could win. <laughs> Congratulations on making it this far. Yeah, thanks. You too. It's nice to have some decent competition for a change. Been winning so many of these races lately, it almost stopped being fun. I don't know, Evan. I got a feeling like your winning days are done. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're in great shape, Amy. You got nothing to worry about. Thanks, Scott. Come on. Oh. Well, took a while for your horse's heart rate to come down when we got here, but everything checks out now. You're good to go. Miles down, 30 to go. <laughs> Do you want one? They're pretty good without the bun. No thanks. Katie, hey, I'm so sorry. All the meals I planned are ruined. Can't even go hiking because of my stupid ankle. This whole trip has been one giant fail. I don't think it's a fail. We'd be having a good time if you weren't trying so hard to make everything perfect. You always get like this. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. No, oh, enlighten me. How do I get? You always try to have everything a certain way. The perfect food, the best hiking trail. It sucks all the fun out of everything. Why can't you just go with the flow for once? Katie, I have been busting my butt for the past two days to make this the best camping trip you've ever been on. I wouldn't have bothered if I'd known you'd be so ungrateful. I never asked you to take me camping. I was trying to make up for the fact that your dad had to cancel. I wasn't upset about it. I'd much rather go skiing with him anyway. You didn't have to pretend you wanted to go camping. I know you hate it. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. So it's a lie. You're pretending. It's just like when I was a kid. 
I'd hear you and Dad arguing through the walls, but as soon as I walked in, you'd pretend everything was okay. But it wasn't stupid, Mom. I knew it wasn't okay. Katie, I, I was just trying to protect you. I, I wanted you to be happy. Well, I wasn't happy all the time, Mom. Especially not right before you and Dad broke up. I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? You're not the only one who's good at pretending. Katie. No, I need to be alone for a little bit. I'm going down to the creek. you're not ready for that. Now, the thing is, is I like you, Blue, but I don't think the feeling is mutual. So, if I already like you, I guess it's up to you to find something you like about me. Well, that's not a very good start. Stop. Are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. I just get the wind knocked out of me. What happened? Evan is what happened. Don't worry about that now. Just go on. Keep going. You sure you're okay? I'm sure. Just a little embarrassed, if anything. I'm the one that's supposed to be looking after you. Get going. Thirsty too, are you? All right. Well, let me take care of that for you. There you go. All right. hasn't been this time. Almost 20 minutes. He's obviously pushing that horse way too hard. That's not smart. You're a popular guy. Yeah. It's my daddy. Won't stop calling. Do you two talk a lot? Oh, you know, we used to. But, uh, I don't know. There's not much to say. Earlier, you asked me about Amy's mom. 
It's true. She was the best at what she did. And she passed her knowledge on to Amy. And I might have passed on what I knew, but I didn't because I wasn't there. And that's nobody's fault but my own. But I spent a lot of years trying to make up for that time, lost time. That's time you don't get back. My point is that not a day goes by where I'm not grateful that my daughters gave me a second chance. Because I'm not sure I deserved one. Here she is, she's still in this. Everything's normal. Horton's doing great. Okay, thanks, Scott. You hear that? You're doing so great. Thanks. I'm concerned about how long it's taken your horse's heart rate to come down. Everything else seems fine. Just take it easy out there, okay? Caleb. So medial. Why didn't you say something? It's just a sprain, but my race is done. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's OK. You know, you never really needed me out there anyway. So do me a favor. Don't let Evan win. Caleb. Yeah, yeah. I know you didn't come here to beat him, but it's like they say, slow and steady wins the race. So don't count yourself out yet. You shouldn't be walking on that ankle. I know. I just, I really need to talk to you. Is that OK? Or do you still want to be alone? It's OK. Can we? <sighs> it was never my intention to pretend like nothing was wrong when your dad and I were splitting up. Trying to shield you from what was going on. We've been patting ourselves on the back about how well we navigated our divorce, and now I see that we sunk that ship. I'm really sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Even though we don't live together, you're both always there when I need you. I live my life just the way it is. I, I wouldn't want anything to change. Really? Do you, do you really mean that? Yes. I'm happy with the way things are, Mom. Really, I am. Somehow, despite all my mistakes, I've managed to raise this brilliant, strong, resilient daughter, and I, I could not be prouder. OK, Mom. It's a little too cringy. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, if you want to go home, I totally understand. I won't be offended. I mean, we don't even have hot dog buns. <laughs> it's getting pretty grim. Yeah. <laughs> It might be time to put this camping trip out of its misery. Come on. So, I will need your help, though. No, oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. OK. OK, Blue, we're going to try this one more time.
What did you do? Nothing. Oh, no. What did you do? Nothing. What did it you do? It looks a lot well, worse let me see than it. it is. No, let me see no, it. I'm fine. Jack, are you crazy or are you trying to prove something? What is it? Well, I probably am crazy, but you already know that, so I guess, yeah, I do have something to prove. That you're a young, tough cowboy? You have buckles, you have trophies. You don't have to go out there and try and kill yourself. It's not about me, I swear. It's about Blue. When I saw him over at Stumpy's, I knew he was a good horse, but nobody's given him a chance. Stumpy gave up on him, but I'm not gonna. When I told Amy that Blue and I were gonna be friends, I meant it, and I never give up on a friend. You see good where no one else does. You always have. And that is why I fell in love with you. But you don't have to be an old fool and seriously hurt yourself. And you're just not going to stop, are you? No. I'll be OK, Lisa. Well, you better be. Well, there's a really nice family camping not too far from here, and they let me borrow their duct tape. We can fix the tent pole now. <laughs> and they gave me something else, too. I know I said plain hot dogs are good, but they are so much better with the bun. I'm confused. I thought we were going home. I changed my mind. I'd rather be here with you. You would? Yeah, as long as you don't mind hot dogs for dinner. I don't mind at all. Okay, hand me that duct tape. What are you doing, Blue? Whatever it is, I'm not buying it. You're not fooling me with this calm horse routine. I get it, you're waiting for your moment pretty smart. <laughs> Why did you tell me all those things about, you know, not being around when Amy was a kid? Because I watched you avoid your father's phone calls all day long. And I remember how I felt when, for the longest time, my daughters didn't take my calls either. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say to him anymore. Now, he's missed out on every important thing in my life, and that's on him. He could have tried harder to stay out of trouble. He could have tried for me. Yeah, he could have. But he can't fix the past. And trust me, he wishes he could. When my daughters finally started taking my phone calls, those conversations weren't exactly easy. Most of the time, they hung up on me. But at least it was a chance. Chance for what? To make it right. Amy.
See? I knew you could do it. Great job, Amy. Spartan a great team. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I actually was not expecting that. Spartan just took off at the end, and I guess he really wanted to win. He's coming. I should probably talk to him. Eh? I'll just remember to be gracious. Actually, don't. Gloat. Please. <laughs> hey. Well done. Thanks. Yeah, it's beginner's luck, I guess. You know, I would have won if fire hadn't petered out at the end. Maybe it's time for a new horse. I don't think the horse is the problem, Evan. He's a good boy. <laughs> you are best. <laughs> Great idea to put baked beans on top of hot dogs. Do you really like it? It's really good. Something your uh, grandpa used to do all the time when I was a kid. Mm. It's not bad. <laughs> so, um, earlier you said there was something you wanted to talk to me about? You know, when we were hiking? Mm. Um, right. You know what? It's not important anymore. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, if I am gonna eat the rest of this, I'm gonna need a lot more ketchup. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah, I know, I was, I was busy. I couldn't get to the phone. Uh, I'm at this endurance horse race thing. It's, uh, it's, it was all day. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. I wish you were here, too. Uh, anyways, you remember that girl, Amy? The one who was teaching me about horses? And yeah, she actually won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, it was amazing. Oh, so, oh, so. Rises, rises, oh the sun, oh the sun, rising, rising. Good boy, Spartan. Good boy. Good boy, bro.